What's up guys, it's Blake Homie and today I'm doing an everyday makeup tutorial. It's like 7 a.m. I, I gotta go to the dentist in a bit. But yeah, I'm just dentist tutorial time. I'm starting out with, I, I, this is actually a tutorial guys, okay? Okay? Um, I'm starting out with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. And I'm just gonna shake that. I am almost, like this is running dry, but <laughs> I'm keeping it alive. I use this because since it is a skin tint and I have such a weird undertone to my skin like I could never find the right foundation every single time I try I'm just big fail and now that COVID has happened like I can't even test them so yeah, since it's a skin tint it just disappears into my skin and makes it even out I don't put on like foundation every single day but from time to time, I do like to do it because I feel like I do look better <laughs> when I wear it. Like, I look basically the same, but I just feel better. Oh my god, did I tell you guys? My eyebrow pier piercing fell out while I was crying. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. I know I'm dumb, but I don't know what happened. I think it was just, like, loose. Like, it was already loose, and then the tears were like, leave. Moving on to concealer, I am again using the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This one's in G8. And again, I can't find the perfect like concealer for my under eyes. So I just have to use this concealer that doesn't like actually conceal, but I feel like it does like a good enough difference. Now I'm gonna be using Tarte Shape Tape. Let's see, this is in light medium and it is definitely not my shade. I like to use two because one, my eye bags, two, I like going for the like more concealed look, like the lighter concealed, not like heavy concealed. This doesn't match, so it just looks kind of weird on me. Like I just, as I said before, I suck at highlighting. I have dry under eyes. So after using the, um, the Glossier Stretch Concealer, this stuff is oily and this stuff like dries me out. So I feel like it's the perfect combination, but I have to do it like, fast or it, like i'm sure everyone has had this problem with it if you used it like it dries so fucking fast be on my face like <laughs> i'm going to do right here and here and then a little on my chin everyone always asks me what size my septum is and i always answer it but i'm getting tired of answering it so this is the last time i'm ever gonna say it it's 10 gauge and stretching it did not hurt it stung like and it made my eyes tears but tear but it didn't like it wasn't like painful i always say this for last my eyelids my eyelids are like they have some i'm not sure hyperpigmentation problems like unevenness like they're just red compared to the rest of my face so whenever I put like concealer on, it feels so much better to look at them. This stuff is like terrible to blend out. Like it's insane. Is that gonna blend out? Yeah, I know this concealer absolutely sucks, but it gets the job done. I'm almost running out anyways. I just, I don't know what I'm gonna do after I run out. I don't ever conceal my forehead. I kind of used to, but now I just don't. I used to bake too, but I don't really bake that much unless like I really need to set my eyes. So I just have to stop the video for a second to talk about today's sponsor, which is Native. They sell tons of different cruelty-free personal care products like deodorant, which is free of parabens, aluminums, and sulfates. Recently, they've been making their packaging more sustainable and they were kind enough to send me plastic-free deodorant. This was not the plastic-free one. These are the plastic free ones. I got coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, and citrus and herbal musk. This one, it gives off that locker room vibe, you know, that body wash all men use. It gives off that smell and it's amazing. This coconut and vanilla, it's also really nice. It smells like a hair mask. And then lavender and rose. This one just, oh my god, it smells like a fresh, like, dewy, foggy morning. I've been using this one the most, but I actually like this smell the best because I love smelling like a man. These are all vegan and made from simple stuff like shea butter, and the packaging is made from paperboard sourced from managed forests. They also commit 1% of all plastic free sales to environmental nonprofit organizations. 
So far, I'm really happy with this product. Before I was using the regular Walmart brand stuff to make me smell like a man, but it never lasts long. I'm sure like a lot of other people have that problem with deodorant. And this stuff lasts like at least four hours for me and that's like pretty good. And like, it doesn't feel weird in my armpits and it doesn't stick on clothes. Like, uh. Three plastic free deodorants are normally $39, but if you use my link and code Blake Comey, my channel name, you'll get them for $29 and that's 25% off. Now back to my video. Thank you for watching if you're still here. This is the important part because I use eyeshadow to like do my lips. So we have to put chapstick on. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow now. I'm taking a little flat brush like this. I don't remember where I got it, but I got it off Amazon in a pack for like $10. And I'm using the Supreme Seductress palette. Somebody stepped on it, not me, so it's kind of fucked. I'm gonna be using this shade and then I'm gonna use this one. And basically, I'm just gonna line the perimeter of my eye with it, but what we're gonna do is a little straight wing and then bring it onto the eye and i i like doing this because i feel like it makes my eyes look big and i just dipped into the wrong color what the fuck <laughs> now i'm taking the darker brown that is it for eyeshadow go ahead put your palette down ladies now i'm going to line my waterline and yes i know you can sharpen these now guys Everyone told me. I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna take the darker brown I used on my eyeshadow. We're just gonna contour. Stay playful. Stop. Oh my God, Momo, what are you doing? Momo. Okay, yeah, we're done with that. Sure. Now I'm going to take the other shade I used for my eyeshadow and do a little blush. I'm going to contour my nose. I forgot to earlier. We can do my lips. And what I'm gonna do is, for my everyday lip, I <laughs> take the Kylie Jenner lip, whatever this is. I, what shade is this? I have no idea. It's this color though, but it works perfectly with my natural lips. Taking another flat eyeshadow brush, um, I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna put it in the center of my lips. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild highlighter powder, whatever, shade Golden Flower Crown, and I'm going to highlight as needed. Now, this is my favorite mascara, um, as you can see, <laughs> but we're gonna take this. I can't even tell you what it is at this point and put on mascara. I'm gonna put on a second mascara too. Um, don't know what this is. You can try reading it, but yeah. Yes, sir. Now I'm just gonna put on freckles. I'm just gonna take shades in this palette, brown shades, and go willy-nilly. There we go. My finished everyday makeup look. Um, I hope you guys liked watching, and I will see you in the next video.